What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, we actually opened up a new, uh, a few Omni Geodes, and, oh, I thought I had some left over, I, I guess not, I guess we opened all of them up, but, uh, last episode we opened up a couple of them, and got a dwarf gadget from one of them, and then came back home, uh, we went over to Clinton, then opened it up and got a dwarf gadget, and then came back home, and actually opened up another one in the Geode Cracker, that's what it's called. And we actually kind of myth busted that little thing you guys said where, hey, if you get something from Clint, you can go home and open up the same thing in the treasure cracker and you get the same thing or not treasure I'm playing Stardew Valley and Slime Rancher at the same time I'm mixing things up <laughs> the uh, geode cracker we tested that out last episode and we got another dwarf gadget and what we did was we actually made a farm computer out of it I'll show you guys that here in just a minute but it tells us all sorts of interesting info about the farm which is really good but let's go over here to the TV because it's the beginning of a day right so let's check up on the weather report it's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow again I, I actually got a comment from someone saying apparently like every summer on the 13th and the 6th or yeah, the 26th and the 13th. It's supposed to rain like every summer. So I guess you're in a few days. We're actually going to get rain finally. And then we could actually go fishing for that one thing. What is it? The shad from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. in the Forest River and town. Try and get that thing, right? Because you can only get it during the summertime, I believe, right? And I think it's a community center thing. I'm not 100% sure. But let's check up on the uh, fortune teller for today because the spirits are neutral today. Okay, whatever. Anything happening this week? Uh, okay, tomorrow's birth birthday tomorrow. And then after that, it's going to be the luau. I forgot what the luau necessarily was. Is that going to be like a whole thing? Because the uh, the flower dance festival was basically nothing. We just talked to everyone and then it was like a 30 second flower dancing animation. And then that was it. So I forgot what the luau was. I need to probably go back and watch my own heckin' video for that. But tomorrow's birthday is tomorrow. Do we know any tomorrow? Tomorrow? Cut that out of the video. Uh. Anyways, she loves battery packs. Diamonds, I'm like, I don't blame you. Gold bar, iridium bar, strawberry. Ooh. We had strawberries during springtime. Do we have any left over, though? Yeah, we've got 28 gold. Okay. And that's a loved item, I believe, right? Hold on. Uh, Maru, can I just... Yeah, there, there, just pulls it back up. Okay. Yeah, it's loved. Okay, so we can give her a gold star strawberry. She's at three hearts right now. I don't know. She's probably going to hit like four or five here in just a minute. You are guaranteed to hit four, I'm sure, right? But uh, later this episode, she's probably going to hit like five hearts or something like that, right? So uh, that's going to be really good. And then also last episode, we speaking of fishing, we did go fishing for puffer fish again. Didn't catch any, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I guess his birthday was uh, last episode as well. We gave him a gold star, like tulip or something like that. And now he's like a really good friend of ours. And he's paying us a visit at like heck 7 a.m. or something crazy. <laughs> good morning. Oh, yeah, we went over this uh, at the end of the last episode, right? But I guess we can go over it again, right? Ah, what a beautiful day, huh? Absolutely. A nice, hot summer's day here, you guess. You know, as the saloon owner, I hear about everything that's going on in town. I remember when you first moved here, everyone was a bit unsure of what to expect. A stranger from the city, an unknown personality. One sec, and he's stirring a heckin' pot of sauce or whatever he's doing there. <laughs> oh, he's just carrying that around. Sorry, I have to stir this pot every five minutes. Uh, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you know, it's like when you're making a sauce. Yeah, it's randomly making a sauce at heckin' 7 a.m. at my house. If you put in a new spice, you could ruin everything. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta get. Ah! <laughs> and then he catches on fire randomly. I don't know how it's doing that at my heckin' house. He's gonna burn my house down. But then again, there's always a chance you'll create something new and delicious, right? Ha 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 ha. Or you could burn down my house, like I just said. Golly, be careful there, Gus. <laughs> or what I'm trying to say is, it's been great having you in town, and I've come to think of you as one of my good friends. Yeah, what are we at, like four or five, six hearts now, or something like that? Anyways, I came to give you something. Oh yeah, what was he giving us last time? I forgot what he gave us last time. I was cleaning- Oh yeah, on a, a mini jukebox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was cleaning out the back room and I found this old mini jukebox. I want you to have it. Oh yeah, speaking of his back room, someone said, uh, I should take like duck mayonnaise into his back room and put it like in a barrel or something like that and see what happens. So I suppose, I, I don't know if we're going to get it today. I think we got it last, at the end of last episode. So maybe later on this episode, we're going to get duck mayonnaise because it's like every other day that they actually produce something, right? But anyways, we received a mini jukebox. I think he's going to give us the blueprint for uh, making more of them if I want to, right? It's actually an old do-it-yourself project of mine from many years ago. They're pretty easy to make. Yeah, he's going to give us the recipe. So in case you want to make more, I brought you the blueprints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I don't know why we'd want to make this. Uh, we messed around with it at the end of the last episode. You can kind of choose what music you play in the background. I kind of like the, uh, the, the default music, honestly, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if I should play any special music on these jukeboxes. Learn how to craft the mini jukebox. Okay, cool. So I, I, I don't know, maybe inside of our house we could have custom music, but I don't know about outside. I might, I might keep the outside uh, like as default music. 
Well, I'm going to head home. I've got to get this marinara back on the stove. Have a good one. Oh, I'll see you later, Gus. Thank you for the mini jukeboxes. Or just jukebox and then a uh, recipe for them, right? But anyways, we've got a thing over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got a thing in the mail from Clint, the blacksmith. I forgot what he gave us at the end of the last episode, but he's giving us a heckin' copper ball right there, which I guess I can't complain about it too much, right? Um, hello. Uh, sorry, but I'm not good at writing letters. I made one metal bar too many, and I thought you might need it. Clint, the blacksmith. What did he give us? Did he give us iron last time? I feel like maybe he did. Man. <laughs> well, either way. Uh, oh, yeah. And then this episode, um, didn't I say I wanted to try and like put the stable over here? Someone said if I get the stable, I need to put it over here. Uh, I, I guess if anything, we could if we do get the stable this episode, we could probably put it up here. And then when all these are done, we could like switch their spots or something like that. Right. Until we actually get the shed. And I guess maybe we put the shed there or like over here or something like that. And then put all the kegs in the uh, preserving jars or whatever inside of them. Right. But I know it's just water this one slot right there. Actually, yeah. You know what? What do I need to make another sprinkler again? Actually, you know what? Yeah, I can probably just make this one. Wait, uh, yeah, if I did, where would I even put that, though? Man. Okay, I'd have to move her. Yeah, I'd have to move. Okay. Yeah, let's not get the uh, quality sprint. Man, let's not get the quality one. Let's just do the one that does it in a plus shape. Uh, just to save a little bit on resources. Okay, yeah, one copper, one iron. Yeah, so we don't have to use any gold or refined quartz. Okay, yeah. And then we'll have to actually take the scarecrow lady and put her down. Here. There you go. Cool. That way, everything over here is fully automated. And yeah, right there is the uh, farming computer. I'll show you guys that here in just a minute if you guys didn't watch last episode for some strange reason. But let's get one iron and then uh, one copper. Oh, yeah, we already had copper right there. So let's just get that basic sprinkler right there. There you go. Cool. Oh, yeah, I said I wanted to, if I wanted to make more taps, what do I need to get more taps? And by the way, someone, people have been saying this for a while. Uh, because we're probably going to go pay Robin a visit later this episode. Uh, you guys have been saying I need to buy a, I think, a telephone and a workbench from her. So especially now that we actually have money, it definitely makes sense to try and look into that. But I think we're going to be spending like, what, 10000 12000 15000 on the stable. So um, hopefully we still have enough money after uh, after buying that, right? But what am I doing right here? I'm looking for something. Oh, yeah, another thing. TSAP, that's not it. You guys said I can get uh, fiber seeds. Yeah, fiber seeds. You get four of them? From one mixed seeds, five sap, and then one clay. Yeah, you guys told me to do this because it's like I have like no fiber and I can't find any outside of the farm anymore. Except for like the left side of the farm, which still has a bunch of trees and rocks and stuff I need to clean out. Which I may do now that like everything is basically automated, right? I might as well spend my time over there. But um, one mix, I'm pretty sure we have that and then five sap and clay. Yeah, we have tons of that. We can do that, no problem. What was I trying to make just a second ago before I got distracted like twice? <laughs> oh, you know, the taps. So, uh... 40, oh yeah, that's a lot of wood. But then again, didn't we cut down a few trees last episode? 40 wood, two copper bar. I guess we could do that and get those taps going. Uh, so where is that at? 315 right there. Oh yeah, how many did we need for the stable? I don't think this, uh, I don't think this tells us here, right? Yeah, it doesn't tell us there. I might have to pull up the real wiki real quick, just to double check. Okay, the stable doesn't require any regular wood. It's just 100 hardwood, five iron bars, and then 10,000 gold. Okay, cool. Do we have that, uh, do we have the five iron bars right now though? We have three. Okay, I need to smelt some more. Okay, cool. Uh, so I guess if I do that, I don't know, I guess I could buy some from Clint or something like that if I really want to, right? But, oh yeah, then speaking of smelting, you guys said I could smelt fire quartz, and that'll actually give us multiple refined quartz whenever we do that. So that's de that, that's definitely a something a to think about. <laughs> Anyways, uh, where am I going to place down this jukebox? You know, like right here. Yeah, place it right here next to the music box. It kind of makes sense there, right? Jukebox off. Yeah, so what are we going to play inside of our house here? Stardew Valley Overture. Oh, yeah, is that... I'm like, they kind of play that music in the mornings anyways, so... Random... Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's randomize it. What's it playing now? What in the world is this music? Oh, I think... Wasn't that playing earlier? Oh, whoa, what's this music? Ooh, interesting. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep it on randomized just so we're always surprised every morning on what crazy, wacky music that's playing, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, then, uh... I forgot to grab the... Man... We gotta grab the heckin' hardwood, and then I'll show you guys the farming computer, and we'll see whether or not, uh, how there is right there. We only need 100, so, uh, split that up. Oh, what in the world? We've got some crazy music playing right now. And let's get the 100 hardwood, like so. Okay, cool. I don't know where we're gonna get the other iron bars from. Uh, like I said earlier, probably buy it from Clint or something. I don't know if we could buy actual bars from him, or if we need to buy, and yeah, let's put this one regular sprinkler right there. Okay, cool. And now if we check up on the farming computer right here. French toast farm analysis. Pieces of hay, 19 out of 240. Total crops, 440. Crops ready, 85. Probably all coffee. <laughs> Unwatered crops, zero. Open tilled soil, 59. Which apparently you guys said, yeah, some of that is probably over here. Uh, we have some open tilled soil over there, and then farm cave ready, yeah. 
Uh, and then no machines are ready yet. So I guess that means, means mayonnaise makers as well as the kegs and preserving bins over there, right? But yeah, the farm cave over here is indeed ready. So we get all the way there, dog. Let's go check up on the mushrooms over here. Yeah, nothing special. I think we had this at the end of the last episode too. So yeah, at least at least I don't have to cut this bit out of the video anymore of us you know, taking care of the busy work and stuff because it's all automated now, right? And I believe all these are the poppies that are ready. I believe the poppy is the one that gives us the most money, right? And then I also got some comments of you guys saying, yeah, go buy some more red cabbage. Go buy some more star fruit. To buy the star fruit, though, we need to spend 500 gold. Oh, yeah, and then there's an orange right there. Uh, but we need to spend 500 gold on, in order uh, to go to the desert. So I might, I might just get more red cabbage, honestly. Uh, and then star fruit, does that grow... During the winter, or uh, not, jeez, <laughs> I guess I would if I had a greenhouse, which we're pretty close to actually unlocking here pretty soon, you guys, which speaking of such, it's Tuesday right now, Marnie's closed today, I think, I have that written down in my notes, I believe, right, uh, but we need to buy goats from her, because we also upgraded the barn last episode, it like finished last episode, so that's good, but I wanted to also look up star fruit, right, star fruit, uh, so when does that star fruit seeds, okay, yeah. Uh, when is that? Okay, it only grows in the summer. I thought maybe it's like a spring, summer, fall thing, but no, it's only in the summer. So if that's the case, it sells for 200 gold. Oh, wait, it sells for 825. Okay, the crop sells for 825. Yeah, star fruit. So if I, if I just spend the 500 right now and then buy a bunch of star fruits, I, I guess maybe after we get the stable and then after whatever else that Robin's selling, I guess we'd maybe go to the desert later this episode and uh, try and buy a bunch of heckin' star fruit seeds and then plant a bunch of those instead of the red cabbage. Just one more thing of coffee over here, and that was like, what, 85 plants that are ready to be harvested? We are right early, right? Golly, that's crazy. And then, yeah, we need to buy uh, stuff from Clint to get the, uh, I, I guess we could do that. We have a little bit of money left over, so. I just don't want to spend too much money, you know? But yeah, uh, you guys also said Gus really likes oranges. I suppose we could go gift him this. Uh, just, you know, up our friendship a little bit more with him, I suppose, right? But yeah, let me uh, let me do this, and uh, we need to go take care of the chickens and the cows real quick, because, yeah, unlike all of our crops that are all fully automated, we still need to go and milk all the cows, pet all the chickens, and uh, put all their stuff inside their respective machines and whatnot. So, yeah, let, let me take care of all this real quick. Yeah, we didn't get any duck eggs right there, so we're not going to get any duck mayonnaise, unfortunately, to try out that thing in the uh, saloon, like you guys said. Oh, yeah, and then uh, I, I said I wanted to make those fiber things, right? So mixed seeds, yeah, we need those. We need sap. And what was the other thing that we need to get the uh, fiber uh, fiber seeds? Clay. Okay, yeah, let's go over here. Let's grab the clay. Yeah, we have 114 there. I think I have more over here, right? Yeah, we have four right there. Okay. So let's make a few of those, uh, not grass starters. We need fiber starters, which are right here. Fiber seeds, actually. Plant these in any seasons. Does not require any watering. That's good. Harvest with the scythe. It takes seven days to grow. Okay. I guess that's not too bad. Uh, but if it grows any season, I guess it grows during wintertime, too. I probably should have grown a bunch of them during wintertime, but... Uh, hindsight, 2021, all that kind of jazz, right? But anyways, let's make a bunch of seeds right there. There you go. Cool. So we have 20, and I can make three more crafts. Okay, so there you go. And, oh, we're out of, uh, what are we out of? Mixed seeds. Man. Okay, well, at least we have 32 of those right there, so that's not too bad, I suppose. Hopefully we didn't, uh, clay. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's put it up in here. And there you go. Cool. Now I just need to put up the red mushrooms, and we'll be good to go. Uh, uh should I go plant down the fiber stuff? If I did that, where would I even place it, though? Because I don't want it to impede too much on our uh, farm area, which I'm, you know, continually, continually expanding out and stuff like that, right? So, let's put that up right there. Uh, oh, yeah, I have pepper poppers. Why in the world am I not using the pepper poppers? I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to go grab them right now, though. Let's just go this way and see where we want to plant down these fiber things here. So, we have this here. I don't know, maybe, like, down here near the river or something like that? I, or, uh, not the river, but the uh, lake down here. Because if I'm going to expand the farm, I'm going to expand it up there first instead of down here, right? So, I suppose maybe, like, right down here would be a good spot to put it, especially because there's already uh, stuff right there. So, there you go. Get some hay out of that. Yeah, because I had to use some of the hay, actually, to, uh feed the chickens, the cows, all the kind of jazz, because we're keeping them inside at least for right now. And I guess I'll just do this. Thankfully, it doesn't need to be watered, right? So there you go. I don't know if we need to do a, uh, a special pattern to be a little bit more efficient with this uh, fiber seeds and stuff. Man, one acorn right there, hecking it up. <laughs> but uh, what is this, a five by five? Yeah, we want to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe go down like this. And then place down all the uh, fiber like so. I don't know, what was this, a 6x6? Six six? So 36? We have 32 seeds. Okay, yeah, we have plenty here. And it said it doesn't need, doesn't need to be uh, watered, so thankfully uh, we could just plant these all down and then just forget about them until a week from now, and then we'll be able to get a bunch of heckin' fiber out of them, right? So uh, that's going to be good. But let's just go to, I guess we'll go over to Clint. I guess we'll go hopefully buy some stuff from him. And then I guess we'll go buy some uh, stuff from Robin, including the new uh, stable, right? So let's go over here. Uh, we do have neutral luck today, but I'll check up on that. Okay, nothing. <laughs> Let's go over. Let's, let's see if Clint's going to give us anything. Uh, we're going to sell us. Okay, he just sells the ore, though. Man, uh, I thought it, I thought maybe he sold the actual bars here, but I have to spend like $2,500 to get two more iron bars here. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather just go to the mines. 
to do that, honestly. And then, uh, yeah, you guys said over here, uh, I, I, I could have two quests going at the same time. So I, I suppose we could do that. 40 mines. I just don't know what layers would be best over here to get iron, right? Uh, took way too much time there. I guess we can go back to the quarry. Yeah, yeah, might as well go to the quarry or something like that. See what's going on over here. Anything happening here? Yeah, we need to cut down trees and stuff like that, but... Yeah, it seems relatively clean right now. I don't think I have to worry about that too much. I guess I'll go back to the bus stop. Maybe go back home. Maybe, maybe I'll clean out some more of my farm, like I said I wanted to do earlier, while we're smelting some of the iron. And then I guess tomorrow we'll get this heckin' stable going. Ah, <sighs> man. And then, oh, wow, a bunch of the bunch of the wine right there just finished up. What was that, cauliflower wine? Or cauliflower juice? But yeah, then our inventory is basically uh, full right now. So let's start smelting the iron. There you go. And do we have any gold here to smelt? We do, but not enough. Uh... I guess I can smelt some of the quartz, because we did get kind of low on the refined quartz, so there you go, there you go, cool. And then uh, maybe I'll just go drop off the other stuff here at home. Alright, so there's a bunch of cauliflower wine finished up right there, I guess we'll pick it all up, and then we'll pick up the kegs that are inside of them, right? I think, wasn't there one keg I forgot to actually grab, but might actually be a good thing, because we can actually move them, right? There you go, make some room for that stable that we would want to do it a few days from now, but I believe last episode we actually put stuff inside those preserving bins, so they're probably not going to be empty for a little while, but let's just pick these up and then I guess we'll move them over here, I suppose, right? Uh, where should we do it? Should we do it like sideways or... Yeah, I guess we'll do it like this. Uh, I, I guess I'll move this up because it will match a little bit better, right? So I guess we could do this, put the kegs there. Then we could put the preserving bins in a line behind them, which will be pretty cool, right? So I guess we could use this opportunity to fix this heck of pathway right here to make it look a little bit better. There you go, because it kind of curves down a little bit right here, and I don't know if that guy, that, that's, that has been bothering you guys as much as it has for me, so there we go. So now we have that fixed right there, which is good. Then we got the refined quartz finished up, which is good. There you go, great. Uh, hey, look at that, the iron's finished up as well, so that's going to be good tomorrow whenever we get the stable going. And I do believe the, the, not the wine, golly, the cheese and the, uh, the mayonnaise is probably going to be all done here, so. Let me go grab all that, and I guess we'll put it up in the shipping container. And I'll probably spend the rest of the day cutting down trees and getting rid of rocks and stuff on the west side of the farm. Just try and clean out a little bit more room over there. I guess to maybe get a little bit more uh, progress going over there. And then tomorrow's going to be a pretty big day, honestly. We're going to have to go over the Marnie, buy a heckin' goat or a sheep or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, a goat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, do not want to forget, I want to put the cauliflower over here. I don't know if we have anything that's better than the cauliflower right now, but there you go, boom. That's pretty good there, and then we got uh, 10 stuff right there. Oh yeah, and then by the way, uh, I cut out the video just a minute ago, I'm sure, right? Uh, but I did get more fiber seeds, so let's actually get those planted over here before I can forget, because I know I'm going to forget. But we got eight more of them, we only have a few slots over here, so I'm going to make another row, or another column. I don't know what it is, but I really, I really feel like I need to water these, but it said I don't need to water them, so I'm going to trust what the game says and not water them, but anyways, let me continue cutting down a bunch of trees and uh, get rid of a bunch of rocks and scythe a bunch of tall grass and weeds and stuff over here on the left side until like 2 a.m., and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. It's 1.50. I'm going to be inside the house, but, uh, oh, whoa, we got another jade right there. Okay, cool. Guess we'll grab that and maybe get a little bit of time, a little bit of progress going on that again. Man, the dog was blocking the heck and way I guess I'm sleeping next to the dog right there, right? <laughs> At the foot of my bed. But I did actually uh, sell a bunch of the stuff right there. As you can see, we have a bunch of cauliflower wine or cauliflower juice. I, I don't know why I keep calling it wine. We cauliflower juice right there, which even the juice part of it doesn't even sound right. But still, <laughs> got almost 10K from all that, which is really good. And I got a, a singular gold from that cobblestone path I threw away. I did that just to clean out my inventory a bit, but I'm actually kind of surprised we got money from that. But it's the 10th of the month so far now, so going to be a few more days until the 13th when it's finally going to rain, apparently, according to that one guy, right? So, anyways, let's check up on the weather report, and is it going to be... Oh, yeah, it's the luau, so obviously it's going to be sunny for the event, right? And it's also uh, Maru's birthday. Give her a gold star strawberry. Don't want to forget about that. Let's go do that. Then we can find her pretty easily with that mod we have installed, right? It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the luau. The event will take place on the beach starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. All right, that's going to be cool, especially because I forgot what that luau event actually was. But we have, uh, oh, no, the sp spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Man. Yeah, we should probably only go to the desert and therefore the, what's it called, the Skull Cavern. We should probably only go to the Skull Cavern when we have good luck, right? Uh, that way, hopefully, we can hit layer 25 a little bit easier. And yeah, I also want to upgrade. How much gold do I have? I also want to upgrade my pickaxe. We have almost 30k right now. We could afford it. It's 10k and then 5 gold, right? And then it's going to be gone for, what, two days? So during those two days, we can't use the pickaxe. Yeah, I guess we'll see right now. And it's Wednesday right now. So Pierre is closed, so I can't buy anything from him anyways. But the star, the, the desert trader is going to be open. We can buy some star fruit from them, right? Uh, Sandy, I think her name. Her name was, all right? Uh, it, but anyways, the Queen of Sauce is talking to us right here. <laughs> oh, greetings. Is, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what does it say? 
complete breakfast. Ooh. I guess I have to see what completes me a breakfast food. The Waffle Galaxy. <laughs> Last week, I taught you how to make hash browns. This week, I'll show you how to combine them with other ingredients to create a hearty, complete breakfast. This meal will really fill you up and give you the energy you need to get in a hard day's work. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of heckin' energy. <laughs> now that my farm is fully automated, right? But uh, maybe that would have been better in the uh, earlier in the series, right? But yeah, we have another jade going, because remember, every Sunday, we're going to actually trade a jade for a staircase in the desert trader guy, the guy with the camel, right? At least that's what you guys told me. Uh, then we have almost 300 more uh, wood right there, which is really surprising. I didn't think we'd get that much. We have some refined quartz I need to put up, and then an extra iron. And uh, Yeah, we do have the five gold. Yeah, you know what? Let's go to Clint's here in just a minute. And then uh, let's go grab the gold star. Strawberry, there you go. Put up the silver star cauliflower that I did put up to get more wine. And then, uh, yeah, I need to go to the, uh, get the main... Oh, those finished up too. Hey! That's good. I didn't think they'd be done uh, this way. I thought it'd be maybe next episode or something like that, right? But let's grab all these. And hey, we have some more just regular honey. The melons, I don't know when they're going to be. I guess, can't we check? Then the mod tell us? Hold on. Uh, three days. Okay, summer 13. So the first day it actually rains, they're actually going to be done. So that's going to be good. Watered, yes, fertilized, no. Yeah, I didn't fertilize all these over here. I didn't have the time, right? But yeah, all these over here are automatically watered according to our computer, right? And yeah, look at that unwatered crops. Wait, unwatered crops 40. Wait, is that, does that count the, and you know, yeah, we have some uh, pepper done as well. Does that count the fiber? I feel like it might, because I think we have 40 fiber over there. So we made 32 and then I ate, yeah, I made eight more of them. Yeah, we have 40 over there. I guess it does count those as unwatered crops, even though it said it doesn't need to be watered, but whatever. Nine machines ready, yeah. So we have that over there and then, I guess it, wait, nine, how do we have nine? We only have six of these. And then it said uh, crops that are ready to, I forgot how many uh, finished up right there. But yeah, I'm thinking about getting rid of the spangles right there. And then I need to cut down this one small tree. I did make a little bit of progress cutting down trees and weeds and stuff over here by the greenhouse, by the way, last night. So that's pretty good. But I kind of want to get rid of the spangles so we get more money. There you go, out of the poppies. Maybe just plant down more poppies there, I suppose, right? Oh, the rashes are done now. Ooh, okay, yeah, let's grab all these. Inventory full. Man, oh yeah, we got a bunch of heckin' different summer spangles right there, man. All right, well, let's grab all the peppers in, I suppose. So let's grab all these bad boys, and I'll have to put them up. As well as any, uh, radishes that are, like, whatever star that is. Gold star, silver star, whatever it is, I don't know. Uh, then, what is that, though? Okay, yeah, that's the blueberry. Yeah, you guys told me I need to plant down more blueberries. I forgot about that, but, yeah. Let's harvest all the peppers right here. Are the cabbages done? They're not. Yeah, you could actually check, but just by hovering over them. Let's go check on the, uh fiber down here. Yeah, it looks like they actually started growing, which is good. Then we have an orange down over there, too, so let's go take care of that, too. As well as, you know, take care of the chickens, take care of the cows, all that kind of jazz. Man, the- Oh, yeah, the orange fell over there. I don't have the inventory space, man. Alright, I guess we'll go uh, put that- put the spangles up in storage, as well as we have a heckin' thing in the mail. I don't know who that's from. Let's check up on that here in just a minute. Oh, yeah, and then we have hot peppers ready. Uh, there you go. So, so now I can make more pepper poppers, which, by the way, probably editing this in the video. Uh, there we go, five more of them. I did indeed have a pepper popper right there in my inventory when I said I didn't have them earlier. So, yeah, now we, uh, now we have two, and I can eat one, so I can move a little bit faster. But hopefully later on this episode, we'll have the stable, and we'll have to worry about that too much, right? But I don't know if it also affects the quality of the crops. I, I keep saying that, but I can... Oh, whoa! We got another fish. What is that fish? Dear Waffle, I was conducting a field study the other day, and I found this specimen. I hope you find it inter as interesting as I did. Demetrius, what is that? A bream. Do we need that? Do we already donate that? That does... It's not... It doesn't say community. We must have already donated or something like that. Animal bundle. Yeah, see, we're... We need to get the uh, goat's milk. Or large goat's milk, so it's not going to be the regular one. We need to wait until we have, like, a really good relationship with a goat first, which is such a weird thing to say out loud, but... <laughs> You guys know what I mean, golly. Anyways, yeah, Mary Lee was telling us about the Luau event. Yeah, let's read this, just so I can reacquaint myself with this Luau, because I completely forgot what it was last time. Dear Waffle, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Oh, yeah! Yeah, this is when you put... I, what did we put in it last time? I forgot what we put in it last time. Did we put a gold star pepper in there or something like that? I forgot what we did. But we I think the, the potluck like thing was just like an average rating. Like the mayor or the governor or whatever that guy's name was. He, he, he thought it was just average. So we need to get a better ingredient to hopefully make it even better this year. All right, so let's see. Let's continue reading here. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself, yes, the governor, is attending the event. So make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Okay, cool. Mayor Lewis. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys 
think I should take to the heckin' the luau event this time. The big potluck thing. And uh, what, what ingredient should we put in it this time? I forgot what we put in it last time. Maybe you guys have better memory than me, but uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should put in it next time. Or this time. Maybe like a star fruit or something like that. I don't know. Is that going to be done by tomorrow? I don't know. But anyways, you, know, you guys know the drill. Let me let me take care of the cows and chickens and all the kind of jazz. All right, we have some duck mayonnaise going right there. I don't know if that's going to be done later today in time to go to the saloon and all the kind of jazz, right? Uh, okay, yeah, we got the poppy honey. So how much do we get from that? We get 532 from one poppy honey. Yeah, that's poppy honey. And then summer spangle, we get 392. Okay, so yeah, that, that's the reason why I got rid of it. We can't go to the, can't get any more poppy seeds today because I can pierce close, right? But I guess we'll go sell that. Yeah, because pierce close, I can't sell it to him anyway. So sell that here in the chipping container and the pickled cauliflower. Yeah, sell all those there. There you go. And then, yeah, because all the uh, preserving bins have finished up. Let me go grab some cauliflower real quick. All right, let me harvest all the radishes now that I actually have inventory space. So there you go. Then we need to go donate these to who? I forget who we need to do it to. But yeah, these are probably going to be done tomorrow. And I do believe we planted those at the same time as these down here, right? So these are probably all going to be done tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and then that one uh, random orange right there, too. Cool. Is there anything else I need to do here? It's 11 p.m. right now. Kind of want to head down to Marnie and uh, oh, yeah, then do the museum and all that kind of jazz. Radish, I keep those in my inventory. I don't know, maybe we'll give Marnie one of these uh, spangles here. Oh, look at that, we got a bunch of stuff over here finished up as well. Okay, cool. Let's grab all these. Yeah, I, need, I, I said I wanted to make more taps and I didn't do that, unfortunately. Man, let's get rid of these. Whoops, that was the wrong thing right there. <laughs> I got rid of one of the seeds, I thought it was a weed. <laughs> okay, whatever, not that big of a deal. Uh, I still need to put taps on the existing trees, right? But let's go over here. I guess we'll grab this spice berry just because I haven't been forging that much during the season anyways, right? Let's go buy a uh, goat from Marnie. Hopefully it's not going to be too much money. Then uh, we'll be able to upgrade the stable and all that kind of jazz to you. And no no cutscene here from uh, Shane or Jazz yet, so uh, that kind of sucks. But purchase animals. So dairy cow, goat, yes. So we can get the goat, so that's good. What was that 4,000 or 400? How much, how much was that? Hold on. Hold on. How much was that? Oh, 4,000, man. Yeah, that's a lot more expensive. We, we only need one right now, so let's just get one. And we're going to get, we're getting that money overnight anyways. So there you go. Pro, pro. Chamoz, Jernard, Mitsu, Fanolo, Kitchi, Train, Pellers, Bally with three L's. <laughs> why would I, why is that a name? Did someone manually write that name or is it fully generated? I don't know, fully randomly generated, I don't know. Shally, why does that not have three L's in it? <laughs> Just straight up, just cone. I guess I'll do this. There you go, cone. Just because the heckin' shape of a goat's head kind of looks like a cone, I guess. <laughs> Great, I'll send little cone to her new home right away. Yeah, we're not going to get milk out of her immediately. It's going to be probably like a week or something like that, right, first. Uh, I think we're actually able to... Yeah, we have 25. We can actually buy that one thing, right? Yeah, the auto grabber. Automatically harvest from your animals each morning. Must be placed inside of a coop or barn. Okay, so we can only have one in a coop and only one in a barn. So if we got one right now, it's not going to do it for both, unfortunately. So if I did buy this right now, which I'm not going to, I'm, good, I'm just going to make sure I don't misclick and accidentally buy that right there. But if I did buy that, I'd definitely put that inside the deluxe coop because, you know, that's full with the void chickens and the and the regular chickens and the ducks, right? So definitely make uh, full advantage of that, at least until the barn is fully upgraded. Then I, I guess we could move it over there instead of buying a second one. Or I guess maybe by then we'll actually have the money to buy a second one, I don't know. And is there anything I need to do in these two houses right here? I don't know. But I do want to, uh, oh yeah, the, so what was that mission? I, I, and by the way, I need to go do the other, uh, accept the other mission too. Or so, yeah, so we got 52 radishes right there. Oh wait, I have to ship it? I have to sell it? Like anyone who ships, okay. I thought we had to give it to someone. I, I haven't read this in a little while. I, I guess we could just sell overnight then, huh? Okay, cool. So uh, I guess I should have read that before I had left the, uh, whatever it's called, right? But it's Wednesday the 10th right now. There's Elliot right now. I guess we'll go buy that. Let's go do that one special request. Something about eggs for Gus. Yeah, I guess we'll do this one for Gus right here. He wants two dozen eggs, uh, which is a little bit too late for me to you know, get any eggs today because we're making mayonnaise, right? But uh, that's going to be, well, what did I say last time? Last episode, I think I said it was like three or four days worth of eggs. Just make sure I'm stockpiling them instead of making mayonnaise out of them, which is what, like five, six thousand dollars per day that we want to miss out on. But if we want to do this mission, hey, we're going to get more relationship points with Gus. So I guess I can't complain about that, right? Except the quest. There you go. Cool. And we have uh, basically two weeks to do that, too. So that's cool, too. But let's go over here. Let's go uh, get our pickaxe started upgraded over here finally, right? So we can actually go to the desert again and uh, break this heckin' stuff in the skull cavern a little bit easier, right? Now, hold on. Is there anything? Yeah, we don't have any uh, geos for him to open up, but get the pickaxe. Where's that? There it is right there. Gold pickaxe for 10,000. And then uh, after this, yeah, we're going to 15,000. So we can get the stable again. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's do it. We have the five gold uh, bars. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I'm so hesitant to do it. Let's do it. Boom. 
Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple days. Okay, cool. It's probably the best time for me to do this. Like, we don't really need the, uh, and did I do this yet? I got, what the? I got a sand fish right there. What? Someone said you have to, you have to get that from the desert. And I got it right there from the heckin' trash. That was crazy good luck. Holy heck. All right, well, that saved us 500 gold minimum, right? Because I'm like, we've fished in the desert before and haven't got any, uh, any luck doing that, right? But donate to the museum. Yeah, we have another, uh, we have a, what's that, a dwarf computer or whatever that is? I guess we'll put it over here by the dwarf scroll or dwarf gadget. Put that over there by the dwarf scrolls. So there you go. And then, uh, no, no reward right there, unfortunately. And I don't want to bother Penny and the kids are all reading right now. It's kind of important to them, you know, kind of. <laughs> But, uh, is there anything else I want to do? Yeah, so community I guess we'll go donate that to the community center, I suppose, right? But I do want to go to the mines, go up to Robin. Not not go into the mines right now, but we'll go up to Robin and, uh, buy the heckin' stable, get that started. And I guess it'll be done next episode, which is going to be crazy good, especially because the luau is tomorrow, or next episode. It's definitely going to be done next episode, because the luau, it, like, it starts at, like, 9 a.m. or whatever, and then whenever it's done, it just teleports you to, like, oh, yeah, and then Maru's here, which is also good. Uh, but it'll teleport to you like 10 p.m. or somewhere. So it might be like a three day episode next episode, you guys. So definitely look forward to that. But anyways, uh, have a nice walk. Yeah, I did. Uh, so shop. Yeah, so let's shop real quick. So we have 15, almost 16,000 gold right now. I could sell her. I don't know how much one hardwood would get me, uh, but I don't want to I don't want to click that and accidentally do the wrong one and sell all those right there. But let's see. So what was it? You guys wanted me to get the workbench. I, I, OK, I can't afford that. I can get the workbench and then the telephone. OK, I can get both. Can we use to check store hours and inventory? Yeah. So you guys said this is like, so if I wanted to like get Robin to start building something, I guess I could just use the telephone to call her. I don't have to actually physically come over here anymore. So this is going to be really, really valuable, you guys. So wood chipper breaks hardwood down to regular wood. I could definitely see why you'd want that. A thousand gold. I don't know if I'd get that right now. So that's going to be 2,000 there, another 2,000 from the workbench. When crafting here, you'll have access to any materials in adjacent chests. So if I put that in the inside of our house, between the stone and the uh, the, the forge, or like the wood chest, what, the green chest, I don't even know what you call it. <laughs> We're keeping like wood and, and fiber and stuff in those chests. Uh, we'll have access to all the, all, all the materials in there, right? So that, that's going to be very handy for us. We'll have to manually go pick them up out of the chests and stuff, which is going to be really good. So let's definitely get that. We already have the calendar. Let's get that. So we got the workbench. And let's get the telephone. There you go. And furniture catalog. Yeah, it's 200,000. Don't want that. Seasonal plant, bunch of decorations, and then we have recipes right here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, forget about that. Uh, upgrade house. Yeah, so what is that again? 50,000, right? Yeah, 50,000 and then 150. Yeah, that's actually very, like, I, I could see that on the horizon. Maybe, like, the next, I don't know, 10 episodes from now we'll do, I don't know about 10. Maybe, like, five episodes from now we'll upgrade the house again. I don't know. Like, 150, we have that, like, at home. And then 50,000 gold, I don't know, just need to control my spending for a few days, few episodes, and we'll have that, right? So that that's definitely doable. Let's not do that just yet. Let's uh, construct farm building. Let's go Let's go to the stable, so hopefully we ride around on a horse and uh, there you go. So yeah, we, we... Oh yeah, I didn't get rid of the... Uh, I didn't get rid of the stone. Yeah, so there's stone right... Oh wait, I could still place it anyways. Okay, cool. So if I did this... I guess I'll place it up here, just so there's still room right here for me to do stuff, as well as there's that keg right there too, right? So... Uh, where's the house physically at? Okay, so that's where the house ends. So I guess I'll place it here then. So there you go. So that's where we're going to start that up. And I guess she got rid of the heckin' stone paths out right there, right? So that's cool. <laughs> okay, I'll start working on your new stable the day after to Wait, the day after tomorrow? Oh, yeah, she takes festival days off. Man! Okay, well, at least we got that done, right? Because uh, otherwise we can't get it started tomorrow. And then Maru, yeah. We have... Oh, wait, did I grab the strawberry? I didn't grab the straw. I'm probably getting comments about it. Golly. Um, it's 120 right now. Yeah, let, let's go. And then we'll, we'll put the heckin' stuff in the shipping container and all the kind of jazz. Man, I even specifically went into the chest and said, oh, let's get the gold star strawberry. I got distracted by something. I don't know what it was, but I got heckin' distracted. Big surprise there, right? Golly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can place down the, uh, the telephone and all the kind of stuff. So, yeah, if I place down the telephone. Ooh. I'm used to, so where, where would I put that? I guess maybe in the bedroom or maybe. Oh, wait, one the roll. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I don't know. Let's place it right here. Yeah, let's place it right there. And then we have, uh, what was that thing? The workbench. Okay, so yeah, the workbench. Yeah, we put this here. And if we use the workbench. Okay, yeah, see, it's like pulling items, like the wood from the chest to the right of me. And then I guess it's also pulling, yeah, it's pulling like the iron bars and stuff from the chest to the left of me. Okay, cool. Look at this. We grab the gold star. There it is, right? The strawberry. And then, uh, yeah, let's put the radishes over here now, right? So there you go. Wait, 11, 7, Eight. That's not 52. Hold on. Did some more radishes just finish up? 
Maybe. I kind of want to see. Hold on. Let's see. Any more of them just, like, just now finish up? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I, I, I guess maybe it's detecting the rashes I currently still have planted, maybe? I don't know. Let me check the farm computer, see if I missed anything. Uh... It says mushroom. Okay, yeah, I can grab the. Yeah, let's grab the duck mayonnaise and mess around with that, I suppose, right? Crops ready 36. Is that more coffee? Probably heck it is. I wouldn't be too surprised, right? Uh, we still have extra speed there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more coffee over there, of course. <laughs> I should not be surprised. But let me grab the uh, the cheese and the mayonnaise over here. And I guess we'll mess around with the heckin' duck mayonnaise inside of the heckin' barrel in the saloon and see what happens there, right? There you go. A bunch of regular mayonnaise and uh, void mayonnaise as well as the duck mayonnaise. So let's sell that stuff here in just a minute. There you go. And I'll keep one duck mayonnaise. So there you go. Cool. Uh, so I guess we'll go... Where, where, where is Maru at right now? Let's check him on the map. She's still up there. Where is she at? Oh, wait. Yeah, there. Okay, she's over there by uh, my uh, Linus over by that lake. Okay, good. Well, let's go over to the mines. Then she's going to be like right there. And I suppose we'll head down to the community center to go put up the uh, sandfish in the specialty fish thing. Uh, mines. There you go. And then we'll head down south a little bit more to the... Uh, saloon, and we'll go see what's going on over there with a heckin' mayonnaise, duck mayonnaise, and a, some sort of barrel or something like that, you guys said. Oh, there she is right there. Okay, cool. So I do have your gold star strawberry, so ba boom happy birthday, Maru. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Awesome. And let's just casually talk to her, too. Are you enjoying the season? I absolutely am, because I'm a farmer, right? I'm like, I'm supposed to like summertime. <laughs> it's been so warm this year. Yeah, I know. And that's it. Okay, yeah, let's talk to Linus, too. We haven't talked to him very often. Uh, I have to be wary of strangers. Most people don't like a wild man. Ooh. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess it makes sense. Uh, and I forgot that I can sell the cheese right there. Man. I don't know. Should I, I don't know if I, I should give Lions cheese. Does he eat cheese? Maybe. I don't know. I'm like, cheese isn't really a wild occurring thing. So I don't know if he'd like it. <laughs> but anyways, go donate the uh, fish. And then, yeah, it's 4 p.m. right now. So I think the saloon is only just now opening. Either that or like 3 p.m. they open. So yeah, we'll, we'll be able to test out that duck thing here in just a minute. Night fishing? Yeah, here he is. Specialty fish. So, yeah, we, we got the ghost fish a while ago. I think we got that from, like, literally a ghost dropped it in the mines, right? So there we go. Sandfish there. And then when we finally get the heckin' puffer fish, we'll be able to put it over here. And then wood skip. Uh, we can check that right here. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Uh, this one. So wood skip. Any time of day from 6 a.m. to... Okay, just any, any time of day, any season, and then in the secret woods. Okay. But what is this fish pond? Oh, okay. I, I guess if that... If, if I bought a fish pond for Robin to build in our uh, area, and then I guess if we put a wood skip in there, I guess if we had nine of them, we'd have these percent chances to get these items or something. And then with one, we'd have that, and then six of those. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, at least we donated that right there. Uh, we need to go to the heckin' secret woods uh, sometime to uh, hopefully catch one of those bad boys, as well as cut down more uh, hardwood stuff, right? But let's go down to the saloon and see what's going on down there with this heckin' duck mayonnaise and whatnot, right? As well as... Uh, what I do? Yeah, speaking of mayonnaise and egg, yeah. Need to remember not to harvest any of the heckin' eggs or anything like that uh, for the next few days so we can actually get some progress on that one mission that we just got, right? But I think over here, yeah, they said over by the pool table in the back room by the pool table. So, the, well, which barrel would it be? There's like a thousand barrels back here. I just right click with this. Ow! What in the what is that? Another crazy, wacky. Uh, hold on. I don't have the pick. Okay, there. Pinky lemon. Yeah, I don't have the pickaxe anymore, but I was able to get it right there with a the hoe. <laughs> but now there's a question mark in the fridge. What's that all about? Hold on. But yeah, Did that was that there before I got here. Pinky lemon. <laughs> so now we have that. We got the thing from Vincent. Uh, his toy box. Yeah, what's going on over here? Get out of the way, Emily. What's happening here? Oh, can I just store stuff in his fridge casually? Oh wait, yay! I have to. Yeah, that's where we have to put the. Uh, yeah, that's where we have to put the eggs. Yeah. I just remember that, so yeah. That's why it has the question mark right there, because it's saying, oh, this is a quest thing. Okay, cool. I was wondering what was going on there, but anyways, uh, Gus, I don't think we... Oh, yeah, don't... I have an orange. I guess I can give him that. You guys did comment saying Gus really likes oranges, so I suppose we can give him that. Then i probably end off the episode here in just a minute. So there you go. You're giving this uh, to me? I'm speechless. I don't think you're speechless, because you just said that, Gus. <laughs> Casually talk to him. Good evening. Make yourself at home. And, oh, whoops, I accidentally clicked on Emily. It doesn't rain much in summer, does I know, tell me about it, Emily. Golly, literally, apparently only two days out of the summer, it rains. The 13th and the 26th, apparently, according to that one guy in the comments, right? And, uh, okay, yeah, he's just going to constantly say the same thing. Okay, whatever. But anyways, I guess we'll just end off the episode right here, uh, at like almost 6 p.m. or whatever. And then we'll start looking forward to next episode. We're going to have the Luau event. Uh, maybe the stables are going to be done. Uh, my pickaxe is probably going to be done being upgraded, the gold. And then we'll go to the desert and all the kind of jazz, guys. 
definitely a lot of stuff to look forward to next episode, as well as let me know in those comments down below what ingredient should we put in the, in, in the, like, what was that thing, the potluck thing? Should we, what, what ingredient should we put inside there? Just because last summer it seems like whatever we put in there was just like an average item. Uh, I guess we'll sell these, sure. Yeah, I'll keep that uh, foraging thing. Uh, but it was just average last time. Oh yeah, we have a rash in there randomly. So that must be uh, what happened to the other radishes. But we have only three, yeah. I'll still ship those because I need to ship them. Oh yeah, and then there's gold star rashes there. And uh, silver star rashes. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, we have 17 silver star rashes in here randomly. So yeah, I need to ship those. And that's going to be good. And then I guess I'll grab this guy and move him. There you go, move him out of the way because it's just kind of, kind of blocking the area. Uh, I guess I'll put him over here, I suppose, right? Uh, yeah, let's put him over here, I guess. Just because super disgusting looking frog creature. And then we have this thing. What is this? A bunny thing with a heart antenna on his head with like striped socks? Please select a number. Ooh. I wanted to talk to Robin. Is she is she available right now? It's six. She shouldn't be available. Hey, it's Robin. I'll be busy for the next few days working on a project. Beep. Yeah, I think it's too late. Check store inventory. Okay, I can just check the building upgrade cost. Oh, look at this! And then boom, I can just browse and see, okay, I need this, that, and the other to upgrade. And then there's the mill. And there's the shed. Interesting. I don't know why I didn't- why did I not buy the heckin' telephone soon? I, I know I've been getting comments about it for a little while, but still. <laughs> I know it ship the other, uh, the gold star, silver star, etc. over here, and that should be all, uh, 52 or so of them that the mission says I already have, right? So there you go, and then crop order. Yeah, we haven't shipped them yet. That's going to happen overnight. Actually, it's going to happen like right now because I'm going to save the game, right? Yeah, I, I guess so. So, uh, which button was it? Was it this? Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. Day 10 of summer, year two. Oh my gosh, I got a bunch of money right there. What'd I sell? I can't, I, I want to click that and see what we're getting money from. But at the same time, it's going to break my game if I try and do that because the heckin' thing's off center right now. So, <laughs> I know it's going to break my game. But there you go. There, there's a manual save right there and then we'll come back next episode at 7 p.m. And the, there's the stable right there. So cool. Pretty good progress today, you guys. And then I uh, remember probably next episode, because it said it's three days until these are done, right? Uh, next episode, summer 13. Day, today's the 10th and then tomorrow's the luau. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe late next episode. I don't know if it's going to be done. Uh, but yeah, the, the heckin' melons. We might get a giant melon next episode and then it'll be harvestable uh, the episode after next episode. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. And it seems like, yeah, there's some coffee down here. I need to go harvest real quick, but do I really need to harvest it? Like, we have so much of it already. I don't think it's really that big of a deal if I miss out on some. Actually, yeah, we got some ancient... Yeah, ancient... I need to remember this next episode. I, I'm going to write that down right now. Ancient fruit is harvestable. That's right at the top of my notes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I remember to do that. I'm like, it's literally at the top of my notes. But yeah, every seven days we can get ancient fruit from this all throughout summer and fall. Someone actually commented saying you can only get it during the summer, but apparently you could get it during the fall as well. So yeah, that's, that's very valuable there. Let's turn them into more seeds and there it takes another 28 days. Yeah, if, if I planted one right now, it's going to be like fully grown at the end of fall or uh, on fall 10 and then we'll get two weeks of uh, fruit from it. So it's still going to be valuable in that sense, right? Or should I keep these uh, fruit to turn into seeds for the greenhouse? Because we're kind of close to getting that, honestly. Like, it, it, it's, it's going to be... Oh, yeah, let's go look at the goat. I'm like, I already saved the game. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but the goat over here... And I need to pet him, too. I need to pet the, the goat. Where is... Oh, wow! Look at that little goat! Oh, she's so cute! Cone is... Oh, man, she's trying to... Sleep. Okay, whatever. Uh, but when is she going to be... Five days, summer 15. Okay, so, like, two episodes from now, three episodes from now. She's going to be an, an adult. She's going to start, like, producing milk and whatnot. And then it's going to be probably, like, another week or something like that of constantly petting her until she gives us the large goat milk, right? Uh, but until then, and all that kind of jazz, I already did the outro right there. Thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Whoa.